Hi, so you know what's strange? When you wake up and out of nowhere, you're having a fantastic hair day. What? Why not yesterday? Because yesterday you had a bad hair day and yesterday you decided to see your friend for lunch. But today, the excellent hair day is the day you wanted to spend at home by yourself watching DVDs and doing yoga. And now slowly lean down and touch your toes. No chance. But instead, here I am with the nicest hair I'll probably have in ages, which tempts me to start doing this. Hey, uh, you wanna have lunch? Oh, hey man, sorry I can't, I'm studying for an exam. But I have nice hair today. I need someone to look at my hair. <clears throat> hey Nat. Hey, um, what you up to? You wanna have lunch? Hey, sorry, I'm actually at my grandma's house. She's really sick. They think today she might die. Hello? Hey, uh, you wanna have lunch today? Oh, I can't, sorry, I'm actually at the doctor's. I think I might be pregnant. Oh my God, I wish everyone would stop talking about themselves. What about me and my hair? Which got me thinking, how great would it be if you could save a good hair day for later? Hi. Hello, what can I do for you? Um, I'm having a really good hair day and I'd like to save it. It's not that good. What? Nothing. Um, okay, well I'll put it down the diary if you just wanna hand it over. And when do you want it back? Um. Maybe next week. I don't see anyone I care about till next week. All right. Okay. See you. Thanks. Wouldn't want to be you. What? Nothing. Because I reckon I wouldn't just waste a good hair day on anybody. Oh, sorry I'm late. Really, Nat? I'm not worth any hair to you. But unfortunately, good hair days often go to waste. Why is no one here to witness this hair? Unbelievable. You know, it's like pimples. I would love to trade in pimples. Hey, what up? Um, I actually wanted to trade this pimple in for another day, if that's all right. Uh, sure thing. What's your name? Uh, Tran. And first name, Natalie. Uh, sorry, can't do it. Too many pimples. You're gonna have to take all your pimples for one day at least to get more credit. All right, give them all to me. I'll cancel lunch today. I'll do it today. Cause who cares what you look like when you're at home? Oh, life. Yeah, I should just rename my channel First World Problems. It's not like anyone would notice. What? Nothing. Anyway, let me know in the comments below, what would you stockpile if you could? If it was something like good hair days or pimple free days, let me know. But keep in mind, you have to be able to make up for it another day as well. So there's that. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. Speaking of good days though, I've had a wonderful time in LA. Thank you so much to all the people who have helped us make my trip wonderful. Thank you to the Fine Brothers for our awesome day out, or as I like to call them, the Fines. Thank you to Hannah, who I had a wonderful time filming with. Thank you to Joey, Megan, David, Lizzie and company for the 4th of July awesome and to Anna for our wonderful lunch and I'm sorry I didn't get a photo with you but I got you a parking ticket I'm so sorry also I forgot to take a photo with Peggy but thanks Peggy for taking me everywhere and watching me eat lots and lots of cake I appreciate it very much and uh, thank you to all the lovely people I've been bumping into who I had the pleasure of meeting and thank you so much for sending in all your photos you guys are awesome and thank you to you guys for your comments in my last video which was about watching people creepily because that's uh, the way I do it but yeah let me know in the comments below what would you stockpile and don't forget to subscribe for a new video each week, which is Wednesday if you're in the Asia Pacific region or Tuesday everywhere else. And I hope you guys are well until then. Bye. Oh, I've seen better hair under an arm. It's not really that great. Aww. Are you, are you having a good hair day? Are you, are you really, are you? Okay, it's porno music slash comment time and Luthien, yes, I am exactly the same, especially with restaurants. If I manage to recommend somebody a restaurant they like, I take full responsibility of the meal as though I'm the chef. And uh, yeah, Laura, Pretty much anyone who meets me in the street says, I showed your, your videos to my friend and they hated it. And you know what? Maybe it's time that I do. Maybe it's time.